Terry, I understand that you and your comrades have suffered a lot during the captivity by the Imperial Japanese Army. But some people from Japan will say that, oh, you know, these are just normal practice, normal treatment for POWs. Do you agree? Uh, no, I don't agree. They, uh, their cruelty was a lot worse than, uh, uh, than the international law allows. Feeding the food was, uh, was terrible, and uh, most a lot of it was not edible, but uh, in my case, I always forced it down because I knew you had to eat something and, and that. But, uh, and uh, medical treatment was uh, practically nil. Uh, I felt sorry for the doctors. They, they, they had nothing to work with, no medicine. Uh, I had uh, three operations on my knee, and there was nothing to to numb the pain. It, there was just four people holding you down while they did it, and things like that. It, uh, it, it made it tough, and, uh, and of course they, uh, they didn't worry. Like uh, when it snowed, you walked through the snow to work. Uh, whether it didn't matter if you had good shoes or it, you know, and things like that. It, uh, and long, long hours. We, uh, at one point there, we were, had to be on the parade ground at, uh, at dawn, and uh, you didn't finish until dark. We went weeks there, and I never even saw where I was sleeping. And uh, when I did get a day, <clears throat> we got a day off, and all I had for, uh, for bedding was uh, a light piece of canvas, and I couldn't figure out what all these black streaks were on it. It turns out it was bed bugs. Uh, these are the sort of things that uh, you know uh, make life more miserable. So, why you personally think that education of this chapter of history is important? Well, I, I think uh, we learn by history what we study on the history of it, and uh, I think maybe even both countries would be richer for knowing. But. Uh, I hate to think that there's going to be another war. And, uh, in fact, I think there will never be another war due to the weapons they have nowadays. But you've got to learn those lessons. And uh, you see, nowadays you run into people that know nothing about the war. And so uh, you've got to get out and teach them. I was in, uh, I was in Pearl Harbor uh, after the war. and. Uh, there was some Japanese there. There's Japanese tourists wherever you go, you know what? And, uh, and they were surprised. They didn't know that all this had taken place. And so uh, I was told that, uh, that they were still telling the, the young people that the war was started by the Americans. Uh, they didn't even know Pearl Harbor. So there you are. If you don't know about these things, uh, and nobody tells you you're never going to get over it. But uh, so this is why educating the young people is quite important. I think. Do you have anything that you want to say to the students, to the young people? Well, I. The one thing I, I would think of is uh, I find a lot of students that are they're against war, and I don't blame them for that. But they do have to stand up for when their country is threatened. I think you've got to remember that you've got to keep democracy going. You may not like all of it, but uh, it's haven't come up with anything any better. So just defend your country.